filler video. 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 So a hobby of mine is going to estate sales and yard sales constantly because you never know what you're going to find and sometimes you'll find a great deal. Estate sales especially are super cool. If you don't know, usually an estate sale is when someone dies and then all their stuff that was in their house goes for sale. The money does go to the family, but still. Well, recently an estate sale we went to featured some old couple that apparently really liked plushes from the 90s because there were like 600 Beanie Babies, and I picked up a few, but that's not the main, main th draw of this video. The main draw of this video is all of the stinking Pokemon plushes from the 90s that I got. I mean, look at his face! His cute little face! I had no idea they made these! I mean, it makes sense that they would make Pokemon plushes. This one's from KFC! And there's bound to have been a KFC commercial for these. These days, everyone's trying to catch Nintendo's Pokemon. So catch a Pokemon beanbag for only $4.99 with any KFC meal. Catch all four. See, and that wasn't all, of course, because there's also these two Snorlaxes. This one is an official Pokemon, gotta catch them all, number 143, Snorlax. Not from a fast food chain. It's from Hasbro and Nintendo. Good. This tiny one, though, this tiny one, made in China, 1999, Burger King. Pokemon. Uh -oh. Now inside every Burger King Big Kids meal you buy. Never talk to me or my son again. Let's see, and I did get some Beanie Babies. I mean, it's a snake, it's a pelican. I love pelicans. It's a puma. Iguana. This is apparently a puffkin. Never heard of those, but it's cute. Ah, uh, here's a good one. We got classic 90s Yoshi. It's like super empty feeling and so dusty. I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up, but oh my word. But it's not just that, because we also got another 90s Yoshi. Count them. Two, three. This one is special. Because it does that. Oh, I timed it wrong. The shells on these Yoshis seem so low. Is that really how 90s Yoshi looked? Also, this one's all so tiny. So tiny and low. The shell is like on the tail. It's not even on the body. Also, shell or saddle. Classic debate. I'm pretty sure it's called a shell, but it's used as a saddle. More Beanie Babies. And an Oddish. This Oddish is also from Burger King, just like this tiny Snorlax. You can tell because it's kind of crap. But uh, who would want an Oddish pl- I guess in Gen 1 there weren't that many cool Pokemon, so. Oddish plush. Also from Burger King, it's Butterfree. Yeah, Burger King. I had to check. It just looks like a peanut. It's a little peanut with antennas. And it's so dusty. Totally unrelated to Pokemon or Beanie Babies, but I also found this cute Yeti. It's from 2010, not from the 90s at all. What is from the 90s though is this Wishbone plush. Got it for my wife, because she loves Wishbone. That's why you make a wish and you get a bone ahead of my wife. Let's see. We got Bowser from the Nintendo 64 officially licensed Nintendo Collectibles merchandise. Uh, again, not the highest quality plush. It's filled with beans, because Beanie Babies were all the rage at the time. And uh, his teeth are kind of out. Hmm. Who made this? BDNA. Officially licensed. And it's more than just this. I actually had no idea. It makes a sound. Also, there's a second one. It is one doesn't make a sound. 
Is it the same tag? It's the same tag. I don't get what. Oh, it's a slightly different tag. This one just says Bowser. This one says talking plush characters. It's another Bowser. And another Bowser. And this one's tiny and a keychain. Look at his face! Focus camera? Face! The face of a champion! Got a lemon dragon, a beanie baby octopus, beanie baby horse, and a seal. It's like a beanie baby, but it's seal, the Pokemon, not an actual seal. You'd be surprised at how many people get that confused because its name is just seal. This one's also from KFC. Where's my KFC pile? There you go. Got a Dratini. It's super cute. It's also from KFC. KFC Dratini plush. Yo, she didn't like that. It's everyone's favorite Pokemon. It's Zubat with the reflective inside of wings, whatever that's called, the flesh membrane. Is this also Burger King? It is not. This is from Everybody Loves to Get Applause, Woodland Hills, California, made in China, surface wash, air dry, applause.com. Everyone was making Pokemon plushes back in the day. I guess it was Pokemon Fever. Luigi! Do you make sounds? No, you don't. Okay. This is from the same set as those Bowsers. Yeah. It's just two Luigis. The perfect number of Luigis. All right, I found another talking one. We got Flying Mario. It's from Mario 64. He got the feather cap. And Flying Mario. Nintendo 64, he's got the feather cap, but this one doesn't have a tag, he's worth so much less! But he does do this. It's a little, a little high-pitched. Maybe I'm just getting old. But I think I remember it not being that high-pitched. So many I want to show you, but I gotta save the best for last. But uh, here's a Donkey Kong with a broken tie. <laughs> this stupid face. This is by also BDSA. Have to fix that later. Here's another Donkey Kong. He's got a button, but his batteries are dead. I wonder if it was just generic gorilla sounds, or if it was like, okay, okay. It's also a Diddy Kong. Everyone's favorite character in Smash Bros. It's got a cute little tail and a stupid face. These all have stupid faces. Get your hat up. Yeah, stupid monkey face. And this, this is the one I was most ecstatic for. Is it's a, it's Wario, 90s Wario. Actually, is it 90s Wario or is this like 1997? Nintendo collectibles. <laughs> it's just, he's so greedy looking. I love him. The nose is massive, and the hat... <laughs> Toad. With the broken neck. Just... Mm. Mm. A really fluffy Polyhorn! Of all the Pokémon to make fluffy... Polyworld? Like... None of the other Pokemon plushes in this set are fluffy. And Poliwhirl's supposed to be a frog! There's no... Why... Why is it fluffy and soft? There's actually a second... A second Poliwhirl. This one, from Burger King also. And it's not fluffy. Or very stuffed, either. It's... But it's... It's a frog, it's not supposed to be fluffy. Here's some cute ones. Psyduck. Just from the Pokemon set. It's not from any other thing. Psyduck. And this Raichu is also super cute. It's uh, kind of got a stare going. And if, if you really want to see, like, a Pokemon with a stare going, this Blastoise. <laughs> see, to me, it looks like he just witnessed a horrible, horrible crime. And he had just picked up his coffee. He had to drop it. So, there's coffee all over him now as he's paralyzed in fear, witnessing some horrible atrocity across the street. Or maybe he's high and he's given a thumbs up. 
Yeah, nice one. Here's a Meowth. And the whiskers are all bent out of shape. But, uh, Meowth. And this Meowth is actually a completely different set from all the rest of them. It's from Pokemon Gotta Catch Em All, Treat Keepers. Treat Keepers? What is that implying? Who made it? Hasbro, Nintendo, and Cap Candy. Cap Candy. You open it up, there's Nutrition Facts. You can't eat a Meowth plush, but what you can do is stuff it with candy. Put candy inside your Meowth, he'll love it. Why was this a thing? All right, and of course, I saved the best for last. Uh, so I got a bunch of Pikachus and then a surprise Pokemon up to the end, the very end. So these first two Pikachus, they're okay, yeah. This one's a keychain, it's cute. This one is, uh, has a pocket? What? It's from Burger King. This one's from Tiger Electronics. Oh, okay, it's got a pocket because it also would say something, but I don't know what it would say, probably. And then, uh, this Pikachu is fluffy. I assume from the same set as the Poliwhirl that was fluffy for some reason. But it makes more sense for Pikachu to be fluffy. This is way before Detective Pikachu did it. It's got a little hook. It's cute. He's happy. He's a happy mouse. And then, uh, uh, when I saw these, I was like, uh, is this official? Is this actually licensed? It's licensed. Okay. The face. <laughs> It's such a fat Pikachu. He's got a bigger one too. <laughs> the face. It's got like a humpback. A humpbacked Pikachu. The tail is so small and not the right shape. How's this one? It's just the face. You could get like a great angle on that. It's like, why? Is this supposed to be Pikachu? Did Pikachu do mushrooms? Ah! It's not, these aren't even the worst one. I saved the worst one for last. It's not a Pikachu though. But still, this is the nightmare of 90s kids the world over. <laughs> it has to have a condition of some sort. It's a Charmander. <laughs> Hands down the worst Charmander plush I've ever seen. The tails, the tail effect's good. It's got that, but the face. The eyes are bent in, they're way too big, and it, the nostril- Charmander doesn't have pointy outy nostrils. And the teeth? Why make the teeth so big and out in the hands? This Charmander- Charmander has thumbs, right? It's just so ugly! It's disgusting! Why? And before you ask, no, I'm not gonna act out any plush videos unless the idea arises and it just happens naturally. The face! Get a nice, like, 3D, 3D view of a Charmander that's, what is it, what is this? Why does it have cheeks? Ah, it's like they just saw the 2D art one time and then tried to make a plush from memory. It's gross. I don't like it. That's, that's the video. You probably want to know how, how much these cost. Well. Uh, I haven't actually looked them up, but I assume they were significantly more expensive if I bought them individually than if I just bought a whole bucket. Because what had happened was they had just buckets upon buckets of plushes. And after I saw Wario, I started digging through all of them. And I found all of the cool stuff. And this whole thing, it worked out to be like 85 to 90 cents each, which is a steal. That's a really good deal, but like they were only asking for a dollar each. Uh, but I didn't want to count them, and neither did the guy selling them. He didn't want to count all of them, so he was just like, uh, take the bucket for. I forget how much, like 45, 40 bucks? I don't know. I don't remember. But it worked out to be less than a dollar each, which is great. Easily the best find I've ever found at an estate sale. I love all of. Except for you, I love all of these. Figure out something to do with them to justify the purchase. Thanks for watching this filler video. I'm gonna throw these around for the end screen.
Wish them more. End screen.